This here is a 1984 FXWG DG. It's a special model, it's two-tone, came with this very rare solid disc rear wheel. This is a Willie G Special. They made the purple ones and they made the two-tone FXWG DGs in 83 and 84. Each year they made a thousand. That's it. Most of these bikes have been repainted over the years. Most people don't even realize that they made them at all. I know for a fact they made them because I was there. I was in the dealerships every month seeing what comes in, what comes out. Because I bought my first bike in 81. And Harley Davidson's were the world to me. So I was aware of everything going on as if I was in the factory because I was on top of everything. What's this? What's that? This is the very last year of the shovel heads. A lot of confusion because in 84 you also came out with your evolution models. Certain models were shovel heads and certain models were Evos. They were made concurrently in 84 throughout the entire model year. This was a special run because they knew that ending the shovel heads. In 85 they still made the FXWG but they had an evolution motor with a four speed. This is your last FXWG made four speed with a shovel head motor. Again, it's a two-tone special edition FXWG DG. This is a bone stock bike. There's very few accessories on it. This is an optional seat for it. It has the Yankee turn signals, the correct exhaust, the correct air cleaner. This is an optional kicker arm that you can get from Harley. This is the correct handlebars, correct headlight, factory headlight. These little doodahs here, these little conchos, I left them on because these were cool accessories that people would put on at the time. It has a Harley Davidson little tool pouch in the front. This is a bone stock bike. It is very, very unusual to find these wide rides in this premium kind of condition. They will run hard, they are put away, wet, and just destroyed. I haven't seen another one of these original in a, in a FXWG DG configuration since the 80s. Very rare bike. It's got 18,000 miles on it. We just tuned it up, put a new battery. We went through the top end because it's been sitting for years. So we put uh, new guides in it, new valves in it, re ringed it. It's ready to ride. We're going to fire it up, get a little test here. Cold start. It's going to warm up a little bit before we take off.